Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm Jamie B. Thanks for stopping by. So in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the new Morphe and Maddie Ziegler collection. Um, I picked it up from Ulta. I'm super excited. The palette had lots of pretty colors in it. The packaging is to die for. So I'm excited to kind of see how it turns out because they are pretty pastel-like colors in there. So if you are excited to see how this palette works, what are my thoughts, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button at the bottom of this video and we will get right into it. All right guys, so I picked up the palette. I picked up the lip gloss and cheek duo, just one of them. There were three of these. And then I also picked up the Dew Bomb in the shade I Do, which is supposed to be like a glossy highlighter stick. So I got the whole launch except for the other two there were three different shades of the lip and cheek duo so I just picked one up I didn't need all three um just to try them out if I like them then I'll go back you know but I did want to say I know I was MIA last week um I had a lot going on they announced in my area that the kids are not going to school until 2021. So I was running around like a crazy woman, just getting like desks and desks, 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 desks. Why does it sound so weird? Whatever. And bookshelves and organizing and planning and doing all that. I mean, the school is basically going to provide them with the education that they require. I just need to be prepared. But I'm back. I'm excited. Um, this look so pretty now if you do not know who maddie ziegler ziegler i'm not really certain how you say her name let me know down below i believe it's maddie ziegler maybe but if you don't know who she is she is one of the dancers on dance mom her she is right here and she was one of the main dancers off of dance moms and i watched it all of the time but the packaging is adorable it is just like a color shift in her eyes the eye look is beautiful and this is the imagination palette and it was $25 so there are 25 eyeshadows and pressed pigments so like both combined I know summer pressed pigments summer shadows but there are 25 total pans in this palette this palette is so beautiful like I just cannot Look, it's just so pretty. Like, I want to display this. I'm, I might keep this package. Like, I try not to do that, but, like, it is what it is. I don't like that it's white because they do tend to get pretty filthy, but there's, like, cute just little um, embossing of, like, lips and butterflies and little twinkle stars. And she just has beautiful eyes, just stunning eyes. Um, so it does come with a full size mirror, they usually do, and ooh, so it comes with some pretty vibrant colors. Number five is like a pretty pastel blue, like butter is like a neon yellow, um, and then you have crushed, which I'm loving, Kenny, um, which is like your traditional, but like these right here all have little, um, shapes in them. I don't know if you can see that. So like this one right here has an eyeball and then we have lips and pre like pressed in here. So that is super cute. I love that. Love that. You have some shimmers, you have mattes, you have mattes with glitters, you have what looks like chunky glitter shadows. I wouldn't say they're, maybe they're pressed glitter. So you have some shimmers, some pressed glitter, some glitter mattes. So you have a bunch of different options here. And I am going to do some swatches on my arms just real quick of each one of these. All right. So I did go ahead and swatch that brow bone color, which is butterfly fantasy. And then I have Maddie's girl. This one that you can't see is called M3, but it is really close to my skin tone. And then we have to the moon and back, which are a pressed glitter. And then we have a kind of bricky shimmer. I will say from just diving in that quickly, um, the mattes have quite a bit of fallout and the to the moon, that goldy bronze color had quite a bit of fallout as well. So we're going to go to the second one. Okay, and this is the second row. We have God Mom, which is a shimmer. Then we have Crushed, which is a corally orange, which I love. Then we have Angel, which is another kind of duochrome shimmer. One way it's like pink, and then the other way it's almost like, it's almost like iridescent, like pink and silver with a little bit of purple. 
And then we have another transitioning color, which is called Latte. It's really not too many shades off of M3, so I don't really know why they would have put that in there. And they're both, like, warm tone. I couldn't understand if, like, one was cool tone and one wasn't, but they're both warm tone. And then we have Kenny, which is right here. And so I really do love these corally orange colors. And then Godmom is really pretty. It just has a slight fallout because it does have a little bit more glitter in it. Okay, this one kind of matches my shirt, so I don't know if I'm going to go in with that or not. I don't know. I don't know, but I'm pretty excited about this row. So you have Dancing Queen, which is a shimmery pink that I think is beautiful. Then you have Like Butter, which is a very bright yellow, so it's kind of patchy, which didn't surprise me because it is a super bright color. You just might have to build up and use a really good base underneath that. And then you have Five, She Insists, and then Mint. So these three are my absolute favorite out of this row. Mint is for sure my number one favorite. It's a beautiful color. Okay, so the last row is where it kind of gets into the darker colors. You have Godfather, which is this golden color. Then you have ASAP, which is a shimmery brown. Then you have Go Home, and then Posse, and then I think this is Pantera. And if you look, it is black, but it almost has like a bluish give to it, which is kind of weird. So it's not true black, but it is pretty dark in the pan. Okay, so I think I'm going to do, I was going to go for the orange, but I think I've changed my mind because I kind of want it to match my shirt. So I'm going to go into some P. Louise base and this is going to be zero. I think this is, yeah, shade zero. It's white. So basically what I'm going to do first is I'm going to place mint, which is that mint color. <laughs> I can't believe I did, just said that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to place that on my inner corner out. Just kind of packing it because it is such a pigmented color. So it is pretty pigmented. Um, it's not as pigmented like when you sit there and you pat it and you don't try to blend it out then it's fine but if you try to blend it out just a bit it kind of makes the color less. So not terrible just less than it was. Now I'm going to take a round brush and go, ooh, my goodness, and go into She Insist and pack that on my outer corner and just bring that over. This one is actually pretty pigmented. However, I'm getting Joker vibes. <laughs> I don't know if I like this. That is actually really pretty purple. I love this color and I'm just packing some more in here and blending it out. And I'm blending some of that purple on the top here over. So I've placed both the colors on my eyes, that mint color and the insist, she insists color. I think I wanna do something with either the blue or the yellow and I think I'm gonna go into my P. Louise and I'm gonna draw like those like the little liners because I don't have any white liner and then I'm gonna put color over that but I haven't decided what color is gonna go best with it so I'm gonna go in with a brow brush to get that thin I don't have a liner brush which I really do need to get and I'm just going to Now that I have the white placed, I'm going to go in with like butter or blue. I haven't defined it. I think I'm going to go in with, oh, I don't know. I think I'm going to go in with number five or five, which is that powder blue. And I'm just going to go right over 
that white line that I just did, which by the way, there's a lot of fallout, so hopefully this will not mess that up. And if anything, that blue will definitely blend into the other colors. So if you get some fallout, it's not a huge problem. It's gonna be cute. I think I'm gonna connect it to make it like a wing once I'm done. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and touch up that mint color just because like from the fallout of the blue, we want the mint color to still remain intact. And I'm gonna do the same with She Insists, just basically patting it in there to touch up that color that may have come off. So I think I'm actually going to connect this as well down to my eye to make like a wing. To bring that pretty blue pop in. So my favorite thing about palettes like this is I feel like you can have so much fun with all of the colors that they put in it. So I get really excited to see like pastel colors or pops of colors that really just intrigue me to create just such beautiful different looks. Do you know what I mean? I love this blue. I love this look. I love these colors. Ah, And it does have slight fallout, but it's not like terrible, you would think, awful fallout. So I wouldn't worry about that. Like it does have a slight bit, but like nothing got down here. When I was doing this liner right here, it definitely fell a little, but nothing crazy. So I am going to finish this eyeliner and then put my face on and we'll be right back to do the rest of it. All right, guys. So before these buns fall out, because they are droopy, let's get this done. So I went ahead and I finished off the blue shadow that I did. I really, really love that I did that pop of blue. I think it turned out fantastic. I did everything but my blush and my highlighter and my lips, obviously, because we need to go into those items. But first, let me do some under eye work here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with that purple and just kind of put it under my eye. So I'm going to go in with She Insist. And I'm just gonna bring it all the way over. I was kind of in between whether I was gonna do both colors on the bottom or not, but I figured I just wanted to do the purple. And I do have a slight bit of that purple hanging out, so it's not like perfectly winged, which is how I wanted it to go. I really am enjoying this palette. Like, she did really good. Morphe usually does fantastic with their collab palettes, and that's why those are the only ones I ever buy. And I know that sounds so silly, but I'm not kidding. Like any palette that I've tried that is not a collab winds up being just completely something I'm not into where like all of the collabs for the most part I have enjoyed thoroughly. So now I'm going to go into my inner corner with a shimmer and I think it's going to be Angel. It's this one right here, that duo chromey pretty color. All right, and we're just going to pop some shimmer there. Mm. So it looks like it's really shimmery. Mm. It's not really doing what I want it to do. So I'm going to go in with Godmom and lay some of that over it and hopefully... Mm. So none of these are like inner corner material I feel like. So I'm just trying to figure out like what I'm going to do. Okay, so because it doesn't really have an inner corner that's going to work for me, they seem to be just not highlighty enough, if that makes sense. I'm going to go in to a highlighter palette I have here on my makeup dresser or makeup stand. Glam Glow um, highlighter palette, and I'm going to go in with this color right here, which is just a white, so that will do what I need it to do. Okay, so that is it for the eye look. We're going to move on. So let's move to the lip and cheek duo. Okay, so the lip and cheek duo are $18 a piece, and this is Peach That Pops. So again, they have two other options. I just chose the peachy one because that's kind of like my go-to vibes. 
so it comes wrapped like this and they're they're kind of tiny they're kind of tiny so to give you kind of an estimate of how big this is it is the same size as the dip brow from abh so just to kind of give you a rough estimate of the size okay so this is peach out i'm going to go in with kind of more dense brush and this is from real techniques to try to get in there because if i'm not is it cream i don't know it's a mousse this is a lip and cheek mousse so you can use this on your lips and your cheek that's orange that is orange oh my god all right so i'm gonna try to go in with a beauty blender and put a little do you see what this is doing i'm gonna do something i usually don't do bring it all the way in it's like pieces like confetti almost sorry i'll put you back <laughs> Mmm, what? Yeah, I don't... I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Alright, let's try to blend it out and see if we can get it to chill out. It's a very weird consistency. So, like, if you look in here, when I turned it... It like made this really weird dent. I wouldn't say that I am the biggest fan of this product um, at all. Because one, it's very hard to get it out. And two, it's very hard to kind of get it to be pigmented on my skin. So I don't recommend just blobbing it on your face. I definitely, if I were you guys, just kind of like blend it out on your hand, warm it up get it nice and toasty and then put it on your face because I feel like I'm looking at my big mirror rear. It's just not, it's so, like it's so patchy. You can see 100% like there's no transition between my blush and my bronzer. It just doesn't, it's not my thing. It's not, I don't like it. Okay, so before I put the lip gloss on, I just wanted to do like a nude liner um, just because it is clear. Like it looks like it has color to it, but it is clear when you swatch it. So there's like no color to it. So this is called Peach Pucker. It doesn't have a scent either, which is kind of weird. I just assumed it was going to smell. It feels nice. It's not super sticky. It almost reminds me of a lip oil. A lot of lip glosses tend to have like that sticky feeling where this does not. All right, so we're gonna go into the Dew Bomb, which was $12. Let's see, it is a face glow stick. So the description says, um, get your dewiest highlight ever with this super Super slick face glow stick. Swipe it on your face, around the eyes, or even over your lips for a translucent, luminous finish. Our lightweight balm, it's a balm, melts into your skin and makes lips feel moisturized. 100% said it made their skin feel smoother. Apply over a shimmer shadow in the center of the lid to enhance the shine and create the wet eye effect. Roll over collarbones and shoulders for picture perfect wet body glow. Mix with pigment to create a custom eye gloss, lip gloss, or blush. Okay, so this is not highlighter. This is something like you would wear if you didn't have any makeup on, or like it said, like over your eyeshadow or something. Okay, yeah. So basically, it's just a gloss. And if I, I think if I put this on my makeup. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, not doing that. Ah. So, um, pro tip, don't put this on if you have a full face of makeup on. This is definitely going to be like a no makeup, just glowy, highlighty look. Um, I don't think it feels bad. It doesn't feel oily. It's definitely not that everywhere gloss, everything, whatever bomb Kylie came out with in their um, 
Kendall and Kylie collab. I'll go ahead and link that up here. I did a review on it. It's definitely not thick and sticky like that. So I think that this would be really pretty if you were to put it like on with like a cream blush and like no foundation, that kind of thing. But do not put this over your foundation or the balm will break down all of your makeup. Can't be doing that. So we're gonna go in with a, a normal highlighter and then we're gonna go to our final thoughts on the whole launch. All right guys, so that is it for today's video. I hope that you like this makeup look that I created using the new Morphe and Maddie Ziegler collab. I really think that the palette is going to be the talking point 100% of this collab. I absolutely love it. It's $25. You get 20 shadows and you get a mix of so many different colors. Like you have darks, you have lights, you have brights, you have neutrals, you have shimmers, you have mattes. They worked really, really, really well. Like these are so pigmented. I'm in love. So definitely, definitely the palette. The lip and cheek duo, I I think you could pass on that. Um, and as for the glow dewy stick, I'll have to try it just like the blush without makeup on. I think hands down, this is gonna be my favorite. Um, it is one of my favorite Morphe palettes, I will tell you that. It's a beautiful palette. It's a beautiful palette, it has beautiful formula. So just check it out. If you guys have this palette, then comment below and let me know, do you like it? Um, are you planning on getting any of this? What are your thoughts on the blush? I cannot be the only one that had issues with that. All right, guys, as always, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.